The stage looks enormous. The theater is dark and intimidating, and just three people sit near the front row of this theater, waiting expectantly to hear what I will do. Now is my time to conquer my fear of singing in front of people. Do you have something that you're afraid of doing, but there's just something in you that really wants to do that thing? Now that's a rhetorical question that I really want you to think about if you have something like that. And I would even venture to guess that for many of us, it's part of the reason why we come to Toastmasters every Wednesday from noon to one. Because for a lot of us, there is some fear that comes along with public speaking. I know I'm one of those people. But throwing singing into that public presentation mix, and I can very easily just fall apart. So many of you know that singing's a big part of my life. I sing in the ASU Choral Union. I've also uh, more recently been taking private lessons and it was through these lessons with my voice teacher that I found out about the NATS audition. NATS stands for the National Association of Teachers of Singing. I didn't even know this organization existed, but apparently it does, and it's a professional organization that is designed to have students of music teachers come together in a statewide competition and perform. So the way it works is you have three songs that you put together, uh, usually it's an art song or a classical song. And then you come in front of three different judges, you sing your songs, and they evaluate you based on some different criteria like musicianship and vocal quality and tonality and expression. So you get a written evaluation much the same way in Toastmasters that we get evaluated after we do a formal speech. So it was a perfect opportunity. So now I want you to think about that fear I asked you to think about earlier. And I want you to rack your brain and think within the past three months, has there been a time when you were faced with an opportunity to face that fear, to confront your fear? And if you do have an opportunity like this, I want you to think about how you responded to it. Did you take advantage of it? Or did you just kind of ignore it? Did you think, well, it's not really convenient for me right now, so I'll wait until later when it's a little easier. It's so easy for us to talk ourselves out of doing things that we're afraid of. I know when I found out about this audition, I thought, well, it's in Tucson. I'm gonna have to drive. I'll have to take a day off of work. I will need to rent a hotel for a night. This is just gonna be a huge hassle. However, when I really sat down and thought about those rationalizations for not doing it, I realized that the fear of regret was stronger than those inconveniences. So I decided to do it. When I got to my audition, I came out on the stage, gave my repertoire sheets to the judges, and made myself to the crook of the piano, which at the time seemed like a mile long walk across that stage. And once I got there, it took everything in my power not to just clench to that piano <laughs> for dear life. However, once I sang the first few notes, I realized this is not going to be the end of the world. And actually, it was a really good experience. That's not to say I wasn't nervous. I was really nervous. So nervous, in fact, that by the time I got to my third song, I think just all the adrenaline and brain spinning, I forgot all of the words. So the accompanist started playing the music, and it got time for my entrance. And I opened my mouth, and Luckily, the words just kind of fell out. <laughs> so they didn't fail me at that last second, but it, it was a very scary, but exhilarating experience. On the second day of this event, we had a workshop with a renowned professional singer, Jane Castleman, 
And her biggest words of advice to all of us were, never turn down an opportunity to perform. So, in light of those, advice, if those words of advice, and of confronting my own fears, I decided I would end today's speech by singing for you one of the songs that was part of my audition. This is, you're just going to have to imagine this John T. piano tune in the background, <laughs> because it's an Irish folk tune. And it's about a girl who wants to let everyone know that she is a good catch, and any man would be lucky to have her. This is, I'm a decent, good Irish body, and it's written by Herbert Hughes. <clears throat> I'm a decent, good Irish body, and I come from the county Tyrone. I can do with a red glass of toddy, and my name it is Molly Malone. I can whistle a sailor like a starling, but the youngsters I couldn't be bent. Whisper, I'll tell you, my darling, I'm as good as they're making them yet. And good Irish body, and I come from the county Tyrone. I can do with a red glass of toddy, and my name is Molly Malone. Thank you. <laughs>